In this lesson, we're going to be smoothing the hard edges with a shape. Okay, so let's come in here. We'll go into our dog and leash comp. And I'm focusing on this area right here where the neck meets the head. Um, and actually where the neck is kind of meeting the body more in this area right there. So what I'd like to do is add a shape that's going to kind of move with our dog and just make this feel a little more natural. So we don't want to have any layers selected because we want to create this shape layer. So I'm going to grab the pen tool and just kind of make a shape that follows along with the contour of the dog's body just right there in that little area and then kind of smooth it out over here. I'm using the space bar to move that point up a bit. And then let's um, actually come in here and we're going to turn down the stroke so there's no stroke right there. Just turn that down to zero. And then for the fill, we'll just color pick that gray color for his body. And then we can actually come in with our selection tool and move any points around that need a little bit of moving. And just kind of adjusting that. Okay, so really no change so far. The big problem I see is when he starts to rotate down. So I think this is going to be a lot easier to handle if we turn off our leash visibility. And we don't need the tail for now. And we just focus on the body, neck, head, and our shape all having a slightly duller opacity. So I'll hit the T key to bring up that opacity property. And just by turning it down a little bit, now you can see kind of where everything's overlapping. So we want to set a keyframe before he ever bends down, just right about there when we're on that one, for the shape layer. So let's come up to our shape layer. Go to your contents, toggle down your shape and your path, and we'll set a keyframe for the path. Then he's going to bend way down here. And this is where we need to start playing with those positions. So I'm going to pull this in here. And then this is what I want to use for the smoothing. So something that's kind of just bridging that gap a little bit that's created there. So it feels more like skin. And this point, I think we can just kind of round out over here on the side. So let's see what that looks like if we scrub between those. Okay, so I'm really only noticing a problem right in here. So let's just grab that and pull it down so it gets down there a little bit more quickly. Great, so that's working really nicely. It really feels more like the skin is gliding over his bones than this paper doll thing. Okay, then when he comes back up, we need to change it a little bit more. So we'll pull that in and just kind of rotate that down a bit. Very nice. Then he's going to start to come back down right about here. So we can just copy and paste that path key. Control C, Control V. And let's find where he gets the lowest, right about there. I'm just going to grab that one point, And then we'll kind of smooth that area there. And then when we come up, we want to go back to where we started from. So I'll grab that first key and hit Control C, Control V to go back into place. And that actually works really well, just kind of sliding along with his movement. So it looks good, but let's see what it looks like when our opacity is turned up all the way. So I'm going to select all those layers and turn the opacity back up to 100. And then let's come in, just zoomed in at a hundred percent and just kind of watch it and see what we think. Okay, so I think it's really helping, but I'm noticing just a little bit of a strange spot right in there. So you can see how it gets a little bit of a point in it right up until there. So let's look at it. 
And that's just kind of right in between those. So let's come in here, grab the path, and we'll just move it down slightly. Then I also noticed a little bit of a problem with the path when he starts to come back up right in here. It gets a little too high. So we can just pull that back down. Maybe even pull it up a little there. And just help that transition. Let's also turn on our motion blur and see if that helps any of the areas where we're getting some blur on his neck but not so much in our shape. So we'll come back out to 100%. And again, just watch that through. Very nice. So that's really smoothing out that area a lot. Now if I turn off the shape layer, I want you to just pay attention to the difference. So you can see how it just isn't flowing. It just feels like there's this piece here that's moving and the body doesn't feel like it has any movement at all. Whereas when the shape layer has been added, it just feels more like there's skin there that's stretching and deforming over time as he bends and stands. Now we don't really see that same problem down here in this area because it's out of frame. Um, but let's check and see if we notice anything on his head. There's a little bit of a point that happens, but it's not an indention so much. So I think that we're going to be able to live with that one. Okay, so that looks so much better. We've smoothed our hard edge where his body met his neck with a shape. But when we come out to our leash and bone area, you'll notice that it looks really strange. And that can be really frustrating if you've just um, animated all of those points. But there's a really quick and easy fix for this. And the reason uh, that this is happening is because our shape layer is in a 3D layer. So we can just go into our dog and leash comp and turn on the 3D switch for that little piece. It's not going to affect anything in here, but when we come back out here, that piece is going to move along really nicely. So don't panic if that happens. You just need to turn on that switch. Okay, so let's come back in our next lesson and we're going to create a swing down animation for our letters, um, the leash and bone. And then we'll be able to finish up by just kind of smoothing out these camera moves and getting everything polished and looking perfect.